<laughs> hey, heads, tell our friends what we're going to draw today. A flamingo. Yes, a cute little flamingo. Yes. All right, heads, you got your marker? Yes. All right, we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. We're going to keep this nice and simple, right, little girl? Okay, mm -hmm. you ready for the first step? Yes. All right, let's draw a little circle right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top of our paper. And this is gonna be for our flamingo's eye, okay? Okay. So draw a little circle, I draw it up here at the top, because flamingos are really tall, aren't they? Yes. Yes, so we want a lot of room down here at the bottom of our paper for the rest of his body, okay? And we can color in that eye. And I left a little white spot, so it looks like there's a light reflecting off of his eye. Good job. Okay, now let's draw his beak. All right, okay, we're gonna do a little upside down V right next to the eye. Hey, and you forgot your eyelashes. <laughs> I love it, good job. All right, now let's finish the beak, okay? And they have these really cool kind of L-shaped beaks, like that. So it's kind of this L line that comes off of the V. We'll come down and then across. Good. Oh, that's a big one. I like it. And then we'll come down. We'll do another one right here. Good. And then connect into. Good. And you kind of rounded it off. We could make, let's make a little point right there. Good job. And then we're going to color in the end so we can color in that little bit too. Okay. Now let's do uh, another line for his mouth or her mouth, and we'll start at the, the point of the V, come down, and then go all the way out to the end of the beak. Good. Okay, now the end of the flamingo beak is black, so we could do a little line across there, and then we'll color in the last, the little end part. And you could do a little line right here, and then color in that whole part. Okay. Yes, and then color in everything. Good job, you did it, it looks awesome. Okay, now let's do, let's start his head. So we're gonna do a big curve line that starts at the beak and goes over the eye, okay? So we'll start here, the beak, and then go over the eye to right, like that, to that dot. Okay. Good job, Hads. Okay, now this part's kind of tricky, but I can show you where we're gonna do, we're gonna do a big S line because they have really long necks, huh? So we're gonna come out all the way over here and then we're gonna come down and then in, right there. So we can draw, so let's come out like this. We'll come out over here and then come down here. We're gonna come all the way to this point. So we'll come, do a big S line. So curve out like this and then down and then do a little hook down at the bottom. Okay. Yes, and come all the way down. Oh, I like it. It's wobbly. It's awesome. <laughs> Good job, Hads. I like it. Okay, now let's do, let's finish the other side. So we're going to do a little line that comes up for the head, for the bottom of her head. Good. And then we're going to come down with a line that's just like the one we just drew. And I'm going to go through the beak and then come out over here. So we're going to draw, so you can draw a line that comes right next to this one, all the way down to that point. And follow the line. Good. Perfect. That looks really good. You did a good job. Okay, now let's draw the body. So we're just gonna draw a big upside down U shape or rainbow line like that. So we'll come right here. It's a big rainbow line. Okay, and then at the end of this rainbow line, let's do the little tail, do a little line that comes out. Good, and then we're gonna do a zigzag line. So go in, out, in, out, in. in out, do a, kind of a W. In. Yes, good job. And then we're gonna connect the bottom. So we'll connect this, the neck to the tail. Perfect. Then, oh, good job, you did it. Okay, and then let's do the wing. So we're gonna do a big curve line right here the wing. Good. And then let's do a couple U's connected. One, two, three, do one more, four. Three, four. 
That looks awesome. Okay, should we do the legs next? Yes. All right. Okay, we're gonna do a big long line that comes all the way down, right in the middle of the body, okay? We'll come down, straight down, really long, like that. Good. And then we're gonna do one right next to it, like this. You do that, do another line right next to that one. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Awesome hats. Good job. And then at the bottom, let's do a little line that comes out for the foot. Good. And then we're going to connect the bottom, okay? Like that. And just draw a little line that connects the bottom to that line. Yes, good job. And we can put a little line in there, another line like that in the foot for a toe. Good job. Okay, now what do they usually do with their other leg? Uh, bend it. Yeah, they usually bend it and they hold it up high, huh? So we're going to do a little four. Look at this. You know what a four looks like, right? Yes. So we're going to come down to diagonal, like this. Good. And then we'll stop halfway. And then we're going to draw a line that comes across to make the four. And it's got a backwards four, right? Yes. Because <laughs> the four would be this way. <laughs> So then we'll draw a line and we'll go behind that leg. Oops, sorry. There you go. Good. Straight across. And then we'll draw another little line on the other side. Good. That's perfect. And then we're going to draw a line right next to that one. So we're going to come down and then we're going to come across too. Good. You're going to turn your paper so it's easier? Mm-hmm. It's a good idea. Yep. And start over there. Good job. And then we're going to do a V-shape right here. Because they're holding his, holding his leg up, or his foot. It's bent. So that line could go a little longer. You make that line a little longer. There you go. Keep going. Even a little more. There you go. And then draw the V to connect it. Down and then back up. Perfect. And then let's put a little toe in there too. Good job, Hads. You did such an awesome job on your little flamingo. We need a color, don't we? Yes. What color are flamingos? Pink. Pink? Okay, let's pick it out. Okay. Okay, Hads, we got our colors picked out. We're going to use a bright pink. This is just a regular pink, huh? And then this one's called pale orange. It's kind of a pink too, but a lighter one. Okay, you ready to start? Yeah. We're gonna fast forward, okay? Okay. Right, right now. now. Hads, you did such an awesome job. Did you have fun? Yes. You promise? Uh-huh. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Uh, the body. The body was your favorite part? Yeah. I think my favorite part is the backwards forward. <laughs> We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your pink flamingos with us. Remember, this art activity is meant to be super simple, perfect for young artists. Right, Hats? Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.